I'm here super excited to be here at the Daytona International Speedway. Oh, we got the big bike now. Yeah, that's right. For those that don't know, I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. Super happy to be here. And of course, with the amazing Leanne Whippin. Welcome to the show. Incredible barbecue so expert. Here, like, Thank we're you. actually with you instead of watching you. <laughs> yeah, so right. get to be right. with you. I'm excited to see what you're going to make today. Right. Yes, oh, well, we're excited too. Adam, what are we making today? Food. Uh, which is why I think we're all here, because food is happening on here. But today we're going on the uh, five burner ultimate griddle here that Pit Boss offers. This thing is a tank, it's a beast. It is a non-stick uh, surface. It's absolutely amazing, ceramic. And so uh, this is what we're doing today. Some groceries, Adam, what do we got? Well, man, you're getting me on the groceries. Usually this is you. Well, we're super excited to have some Johnsonville kielbasa. So we've got that sliced up. We're gonna make some, I guess you would call it uh, sausage, peppers, onions, and potatoes. We know we got some rain in the forecast the next couple days. Shouldn't affect any of the activities going on. No. Like, Food uh, is happening for right. sure. With this cooler weather, this is something a little bit more savory. I call this like my harvest feast. So we're gonna slay this beast, this harvest feast, on the ultimate griddle. Coming from the east, right? <laughs> it is. This is the best bout as east as we can get here in Florida. Right? All right, so we do have the kielbasa from Johnsonville. I was going to throw down a little bit of oil first. And we're going to get the potatoes, potatoes going. Right? The reason why is because potatoes cook. They take the longest. Even and we are these are pre-cooked right right potatoes. Right they are from frozen. They're going to take the longest. So okay. Adam's going to throw those down first. Then we're going to get the veggies because they take the second longest. We're going to be using some seasoning, by the way. Today, our seasoning of choice is the Pit Boss. They've got the pulled pork barbecue rub. It's garlic, onion, paprika. It's got such, so much flavor in there. Depth, little bit of heat, sweet, and it's amazing. So Adam's got this down. Do you think that the cooking time matches what's on the side of the bag? Like for the flat top, it's one and the same? It goes quicker. Yeah. It goes quicker, for Okay, sure. it goes quicker. I, I've honestly never even looked at the cook time on the bag. <laughs> I have when I've gone to be like in the oven. From frozen, this is gonna take the longest. This is the longest part of the cook. That's why we start with the potatoes. Then we'll get our vegetables once they start kind of cooking down and we get a little translucency, especially in the onions. And then we'll toss on the kielbasa. It's like today we're using the Pit Boss pulled pork rub which is amazing, goes yes. really well with this. Uh, sometimes we find on the griddle, they'll start to darken and they almost look burned. So if we do it too early, we feel like it, not to, it doesn't take away from it, but we right. kind of time it well, especially on like potatoes. But towards the end seems to work a little bit better on the potatoes. A little better, but to answer your question, yes, we like it, the seasoning to be in there as early as possible so it can actually marinate and get in there to marry better. Do you think that a rub or seasoning with sugar in it should go later because it might yep. burn? Yeah, yes. it could. Because the sugar will, it'll, it'll caramelize and then it goes from quick from caramelizing to burning real quick. So we want it to start low because we can control the heat, bring it up. With griddle cooking, if you start high, it's really hard to bring the temperature down. So we start lower and then we bring it up as needed. So we're at a point now, it's uh, dry down just enough uh, that they're going to start crisping up. I'm just going to add, we're using our pulled pork rub on this. It's going to be a little sweet, but mostly savory, which is what we're going for this one. So we're going to go ahead, and that's not going to work, so we're going to open up the back side. But to be really careful here, just get some nice seasoning. We can add more as needed. Fly in my uh, direction. <laughs> oh, man. smell a vision So now we'll mix that up. One thing Leanne was saying, and we were talking about it, adding butter to the potatoes. Typically, I use butter uh, for sauteing the vegetables. But we're going to go in and add just a little bit, just to see if it helps crisp it up a little bit and give it a little bit more flavor here. Andy, how are you guys doing? Good. <laughs> How you doing, brother? <laughs> Oops. Uh, right, Adam, are we about ready to do the veggies? We are about ready to do the veggies. Does that mean we are ready to do the veggies? That means we're about ready to do the veggies. Okay, go two tablespoons. And here, let's turn that burner back on. I know I turned it off. The, I got this one on low. These are low. This is being controlled. We're good here. Okay, so we'll keep our potato line here. Let those continue to kind of cook and brown down. Are we doing all the onions? Yes. Yeah, do everything. Well, yeah, do one pack of onions, then do the peppers, and we'll see if we need the other onions. Okay. All right, you want to throw some peppers on there, Leanne? I would love to. Yes. Leanne's about to throw some peppers yep, down. Go ahead and lay it down there. Green and yellow. It's all in there. Isn't that in the NASCAR? Like, yeah, there we yeah. go. That's why we chose. If there were blue, if there were blue bell peppers, they'd be in here too. They'd be yeah. the NASCAR like official bell too? peppers. Yep, sure. Let's toss them off. And these are also the colors of the traffic light. <laughs> Red, green, and yellow. Ooh. Who is cutting the yellow one, Brett? None yet. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, Brett was cutting nice. the yellow. <laughs> Got to make sure we keep the number on there. 
<laughs> Keep our go. tabs on the uh, bell peppers. All right, so again, we started with the uh, potatoes because they take the longest. Now we're on to the vegetables. They take the second longest. It should be five to 10 minutes, depending on, on how they're going to cook. And then, um, then we'll get right on to the, uh, the kielbasa. Yeah, and, and then you... this will be just about done. If we want, we can add the other onions. We don't have to. Uh, that'll be a lot of onions. We don't have to, but there's nothing wrong with a lot of onions, is there? I love onions. We like onions, Let's Adam. Let's do it. Fine. Bring it. We bring voted it you out. How about if we go halfway? We'll do half. The there we go. There we go. Half the onions. And let's go a little more butter, too, Brett. All right. I got you. Wow. You guys cut back on prep. They're already sliced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were buy one, get one at Publix. Yeah. I'm like, I'm getting these. Cut down on prep. Anytime we can cut down on prep. Yep. How much butter? Yep. Yep. There we go. So those vegetables have been going out for a good couple minutes, three, four minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with, again, some of our pulled pork barbecue rub by Pit Boss. Just get that in there, get some good seasoning. It's my favorite when you start hitting that smell. <laughs> Just as the wind, it changes right towards our direction as that seasoning goes I on. I timed it that way. Oh, it's I so timed delicious. Just for you guys. It's right in my eyes. Just eye. for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the seasoning's going in Leanne's eyes. It smells so good, it's blinding. That's right. <laughs> She can see the flavor. <laughs> when the veg vegetables are close, we'll, we'll pull them and then we'll put the kielbasa so it can kind of get a little sear on there. And then we'll just marry everything and then we hit it with a little bit of the broth to kind of bring in all the flavors together, a little bit more seasoning. And so it's more like a, a hearty, really good, I, I don't know how else to describe it. Well, and Adam had talked about the weather when it's inclement or, or, or cold weather. This is a good cold weather meal, but for me, this is a good anytime meal. Like we <laughs> said, one, it, another yeah. thing we like about the griddles is that you can do everything on this that you do on a stove top inside, but you're keeping the smells and the heat outside of the kitchen, out of the house, and it's just outside and you come up and then the, right, the cleanup is so easy. Oh, we appreciate oh, thank it. You thank you so, so much, much, brother. Man. Yeah, I'm out of, by the way. This I'm Brett. Brett so. <laughs> so these onions are just about transparent, which is where we want where yep. you can see through them translucent. And then uh, it's just about time to throw the kielbasa yep. on Adam, so are you ready? I can, yeah, I can, because we can uh, we can control it ten times as long as we want. Let's get those on. All right, no Leanne, do it. There we go. The boss is going on. Vanna White today. Yeah, you <laughs> <are>. <laughs> Leanne is feeling like Vanna White today. Yeah, Vanna White. Instead of turning uh, letters, you're turning food. We yeah, like that. Right. That's right. That's right. I'd rather turn so the food. So you're going to get that with an ice sear on it. Uh -huh. They're already cooked, yep. so you don't have to worry about right. that. Um, it looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. yeah, it is going to be absolutely delicious. And then once this is done, we just make a big pile of slop. So this is just, it, it's so beautiful and it's so tasty at the end. So one thing I was going to mention, so in just a minute, we're going to marry everything and then put some broth on there to make this a hearty meal. You could actually put a tomato sauce in here or like you said, a barbecue sauce. And I almost thought, man, you know what? I really like that, the Texas barbecue sauce by Pit Boss. I'm like, that would be perfect. So I would wait a little bit because those sugars might overcook. Once I get a good sear and marry it, then I would just put some of that sauce right in there. But yeah, you could use sauce instead. So by the time I turn these, these will just be, be ready to, to go. So I'm just gonna flip these last few and then we'll marry everything together, hit it with our broth, hit it with a little bit more seasoning and we'll call her good. Now you're gonna combine everything together before we hit the, with the broth, right? Yep. Yes. I'm gonna be, or let's let Leanne pour the broth on. Yes. All right, so we got uh, sausage, uh, kielbasa, Time onions, peppers, and potatoes. And I'm pulling them together in a big pile. And then once a big, it's all married. beautiful pile, slop pile. Yep, go ahead. That is absolutely picture perfect. And we Leanne is pouring on about a half cup of this chicken broth that we have. You can add more for sure, yeah. Some, yeah. Uh, some nice potatoes. Yep, add more for sure. Dish. And then oh, we are just about that. ready to uh, to try this to see if, uh, see if it is good as we, we really planned on it being. Oh, look at that. Friendly safety reminder, do not hold the aluminum pan from the bottom. <laughs> the <crow. laughs> yeah. Not that we've learned that the hard way, right? <laughs> exactly. We've never learned that one the hard way. Look how pretty that is. Right? All right, this was hectic, it was crazy, it was a ton of fun, and obviously- Mostly this, fun, mostly, mostly fun, fun. But sharing the stage with Leanne Whippin, what an great. honor. I this was great, this was so much fun, right? We had a great time. So we're gonna take a bite, so we'll do how we always do, so grab a little bit of everything. Some peppers. Gotta get a kielbasa, there we get go, some get some pepper. Uh, potatoes, all right, got it. Woo. 
All right. All right. Well, guys, like you say, you can look amazing. Looks amazing. You look amazing. Does it look amazing? Okay. Yeah. Smell amazing. And she tastes amazing. She tastes can amazing. I get a smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you yeah. can. Doesn't taste amazing. It's all for not cheers. Cheers. Okay. cheers. You got, you got your right, right, system up pretty good. Eat to that. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Mm. Mm. Good. 